Okay, so we are coming to the end of this conference. Uh, once again, we met uh, Melanie, and I'm sure she will deliver a great closing session. Thanks, Melanie. Thank you, Samuel. So welcome to the closing session. Uh, as I said, I'm counting on your help to make it a live exchange and an interesting Ask Me Anything session. Um, during this session, you can continue to post your questions on Menti or in the chat in this session as you prefer, I don't care. So, okay, we'll see if we already have some question on Menti. Yes, there is some. Um, so the first one, I saw the OCP demo, what will be open source in Serious Web and what will not? Okay, that's a good question. Uh, we already installed partly. So, okay, with uh, Serious Web, you will have everything needed to create a modeler and start a server to make your graphical modeling tool available to the web and accessible from a browser. Um, on the other side, the OCP, the Hobby or Cloud Platform OCP is an enterprise solution to deploy modeling tools to the cloud. You have professional support and features dedicated to, to professional usage like project sharing, public private projects I, you, we showed during the demo, integration with the other server, for example, by using webhooks or OSLC. So you will have also support for authentication, team collaboration with the capability to visualize who is working on your model, like uh, what you have in uh, Google Doc. Okay, so I will mark this one as done. Why do you open source in the Serious project and not in the existing Eclipse Cloud Dev project or EMF Cloud? Yes. Um, so first, uh, the objectives of Serious Web fit pretty well in the scope of the actual Serious project. So then even, um, it, it's, um, yeah. Even uh, if we love EMF at OBO, we think that it should not be the center of attention here. So our purpose is to help the very active Serious community to push graphical models to, to the web. We do not aim to, to provide just uh, some small technological bricks, but want to, we want to provide an easy to use solution to make cloud graphical models. So that's why we decided to push that uh, in series. I expect it's answer your question. If it's not, please uh, do not hesitate to ask again for more precision. So the next one is, does Sirius Web has all the capabilities supported by Sirius today? Um, no, and uh, we will not cover all the features as um, which exist today in Sirius. We are, as you, as you saw in the demo, we are working on the global UX of the workbench, which leads to differences. But um, we will ensure that Sirius Web will be extensible, and we will provide at Hobio our expertise to, expertise to do that. Um, moreover, we chose common technologies to build the Sirius Web, so we expect that we will receive evolution from the community to extend the capabilities. So that's why we are open sourcing this project, which is still quite young, uh, in order that the community can help us to, 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 to improve it. Um, Okay, next one. What does it mean for my actual workbench relying on Sirius? Okay, um, so that's quite simple. If your users want to keep a desktop application so you can continue to use Sirius desktop. If your users want to access the graphical models for browser, it depends if they only need read-only access, you can use uh, OCP publication if you want to provide a read-write access to your modeling tool, you can switch to Serious Web. And in the end, as Stefan demonstrated, you will be able to reuse a part of your whole design. And for the part that does not yet exist in Serious Web, it will just be um, not uh, processed by uh, the Serious Web runtime. And you will be able also to import your EMF models. I wish, as we show, it's completely open. We, you can uh, import or import or export EMF models. Uh, Front into OCP. Um, for the US, UI specific code you already develop in your existing the Serious Desktop uh, application, you will have to be, they, they will have to be reviewed uh, to be independent from the Eclipse platform. That's the deal. As now it will be, you will need to, to rework this UI based on the uh, web, web uh, solution. Okay. 
You talked about Axelio, but I did not get it. What's the differences between Axelio and Sirius? And is there something new about Axelio? Yes, I know that some did some teasing in the chat during the afternoon. So yeah, we, we have a lot of questions about Axelio during this conference, even if it is named SiriusCon, so it's pretty funny. So for the one who don't know Axelio, Axelio is a code generator. So we are, that we are developing at Hobio. Uh, it is also an open source project at the Eclipse Foundation. In fact, um, Yes, uh, as it was uh, teased during the afternoon, we have another announcement to do about Axelio. Uh, we will soon develop a new version of Axelio, which will become Axelio 4. This version will improve drastically the editor performances. Um, you already love HQL, the Axelio query language in Sirius, and we will review Axelio to be able to write Axelio template relying on HQL. Um, at the same time, we will rework the editor and instead of redeveloping our own editor, like uh, what we did for the previous version of XLO, um, this time we will rely on the generic editor existing in Eclipse by providing an uh, LSP implementation, so LSP for language server protocol for the XLO language. So thanks to this, we will be able to reintroduce a capability which was missing in Axelio for a long time, the debugger, so that's pretty great. Um, the generation performance will remain the same, and uh, with uh, Axelio 4, the editor will be able to manage huge generation projects. Um, and all this work will be possible thanks to the support of one of our customers, so thanks to him, and uh, soon you will have a new version of Axelio, Axelio 4. Um, so, next question. When it will be released? I suppose that you are talking about Serious Web and not Axelio. Um, so, as I was already said today, we will work during the summer to publish the code of Serious Web so the, to, to the Eclipse Foundation. Uh, this requires, among other things, to, to, to yes, we, we will have to, to rework our dependencies and um, update the infrastructure. So we expect if everything goes according to the plan that it will be available under the series project for October this year. Uh, if you need a modeling tool to the web, before that we are available at Hobio to work with you on a specific model based on the Hobio Cloud platform. So for the free version, it would be for the, for the fall, for the autumn, for the fall. But uh, if you want to try it before that, do not hesitate to contact us at Hobio. It will be a pleasure to to try OCP on your use case. Uh, does it rely on GLSP? Yes. Um, um, relying on the graphical language server protocol was our first plan. But um, as you know, in Sirius, it exists many kinds of representations, graphical ones like diagrams for this case. And, and for this case, the, the GLSP fits pretty well, but also we have been serious tables, matrices, trees, forms, and much more to come with the web capabilities. So to manage all these kind of representations, we would have to review the whole protocol in order to, in order it fits our needs. So we decided to rely on our own solution, which is mostly a kind of model language server protocol. Um, which for diagrams, form trees, and general purpose APIs works, and uh, we rely on GraphQL as uh, we said before. Okay, next one. Um, any plans to integrate Sirius Web diagram into an Eclipse TR or CHE? Uh, as we say, I already answered to this question before during the afternoon. Uh, for the moment, uh, we do not plan that at OBO, but uh, when Sirius Web will be open source, I expect that someone from the community might work on that, or maybe one of our customers could come to see us and with some support, we could imagine to, to push everything to Eclipse TR or Eclipse TA. Um, definitely, it's possible. The, the, the solution we use with the technologies we are relying on are ready to do that. So yeah, it's just uh, need, we just need some time and support. That's it. Next one. Um, will Workbench is already developed with Sirius be automatically compatible with Sirius Web? I already answered to this question. Uh, mostly, it depends on what you are using on Sirius today. Uh, some existing feature in Sirius uh, desktop will be available on Sirius Web and some not. Um, 
you will be able to implement the missing one if you have something uh, missing and really important for you. So yeah. Um, the next one. What kind of web framework are used in serious web? Um, we use only common technologies, Spring, Spring Boot, GraphQL, WebSocket for the web application part, um, Eclipse Proti for the diagram rendering, and Serious Web for the graphical model definition and runtime. So everyone would be able to contribute. Uh, we decide to just select really common technologies and really stay classical in our choice in order that any web developer could uh, contribute to, to Serious Web. Um, are there any news about graphical comparison diff merge? Um, um, we are today, uh, as I said, we have a, an internship working on graphical comparison for Sirius. Uh, this is uh, working for the Sirius desktop version. It's still experimental, but uh, you can still um, try it. It's uh, an interesting project, not yet uh, ready, but uh, yeah. With our internship, we will have some more improvements about that, so you will be able to try it again in some weeks because he will finish soon uh, his internship. So yeah. Um, the next one: Can I connect a model made with Sirius with OSLC compliance software such as requirement management software or ALM tools? Um, yes, definitely. As we did that, and we have an offer for that, which is named OCP Publication. Uh, with OCP publication, you can uh, push any kind of meta model to um, a server, and you will have a read-only read capability to access through your browser to the um, to your model. Um, OCP publication offer OSLC API in order to to to, pro to provide any kind of um, yeah um, in order that you be able to connect to to this model server uh, thanks to OSLC. And so you will be able, you'll be able to connect uh, ALM, for example, and we already have uh, some, uh, some, some development like that uh, at Hobio today. We already did that for connecting Capella to some ALM, and we have an offer which is named Publication for Capella. Yes, so last question on Menti. Serious Web and OCP demos were exciting, thanks. Um, I would like to obtain a prototype for my home designer, but I am not sure to have the skill and time to ramp up. How can I do? That's really simple, contact me. <laughs> Send me an email, melaniebats at hobio.fr. Um, I will be happy to answer and to help you going through the first step about using OCP uh, on your own use case. And um, so I'm here for that. Uh, the OBO team is, uh, has uh, the skills to, to make this possible. So, no more question on Menti. Is there some question in the chat? Yes. Yes, it is. Oh, can we rewatch some presentation as it was middle of the night in the East Coast US? I'm sorry for that. <laughs> and I'm happy to say that you are still there even if it's middle of the night for you. Uh, yeah, uh, as I said, um, we will. We are recording whole the session, so we will. You will be able to get this recording soon. Uh, we will need some two or three days to make this possible and push all the everything online. So yeah, just be patient, and in two three days you will be able to see everything. Is Axelio web ready? In fact, Axelio is just a code generator, so mostly we can generate code with <laughs> Axelio. It doesn't uh, need web solution. It's not need, needing to, to be integrated to the web. Um, it's kind of Java, so if you can run Java, it's OK. So you will be able to, to run Axelio generator on a, a sub, on a Java server, so on the web server. Um, do you plan to open an API to integrate deploy third-party functionality to Serious web server? Yes, as I said, um, not, not really, not to open it, but uh, it depends on what you understand by what you want to say by with open. Um, the idea is that uh, we will offer API to with OC, with OCP to to be able to integrate with uh, some other parts, so like uh, another web server. And we already developed in OCP web hooks to to do that. Uh, we not, do not demonstrate that today, but uh, we already have this. For, 
feature ready. So our idea is to provide this kind of solution through OCP. Will OBO support UML in the web tool? Not yet. We already develop UML designer. I develop a lot of UML designer. Uh, at the moment, I'm not. Uh, I have not the intention to push uh, UML designer in the web, but uh, UML designer already exists. It's uh, a series ready. So with some work, it would be possible to push it on serious web, yes. Can Axeleo code generation be injected in serious? I'm not sure what you want to do. <laughs> we should discuss that. Um, you can, in fact, push. I, I'm not sure if you want to, to, to generate some code inside series. But uh, yeah, <laughs> you should uh, maybe comment your question. You know that I can understand that. I'm not sure to understand what you uh, what you want to do. Uh, do you see Samuel some question in the chat? I should answer um, because oh no, there is still some more. Okay, um, I would like to integrate JavaScript application with Sirius and with Axelio for generation of mobile application. Is it possible with Sirius? Web, yes, with Serious Desktop also. Uh, with Axelo, you can generate anything, any kind of text. So I would say yes. <laughs> when the Axelo 4 will be released? I don't know yet. <laughs> Soon. Uh, I expect uh, this would be possible in the end of uh, the summer. At the end of summer. Um, is there some question in the chat? Uh, can we rewatch? No. I don't okay. think so. No. Well, for you to answer questions. Okay. Uh, and is Axelo 4 backward compatible with Axelo 3? Mostly, yes. <laughs> we are working on a kind of migration in order that you can uh, use uh, Axelo 3 templates with Axelo 4. Uh, some things will not work, and you will have you will have to rework a little bit your templates because we cannot automate every sync in the migration. So we will highlight what cannot be migrated. So yeah, if you have already Excel 3 templates, we'll be able to, they will be able to work with Excel 4. Mm. Mm. Is the template be compatible with Excel 3? The inverse is not true. Excel 4 template will not be compatible with Excel 3 as Excel 3 template will not be compatible exactly. You will have to migrate them. But we will provide also a migration and kind of automatic um, migration tool. Okay, we, we have a few new questions also. A few new questions, yes. Um, so, would it be possible to have documentation about JavaScript with Sirius? I feel no, there is no documentation about that. If you have a question, please ask them on the Sirius forum, uh, on the Eclipse forum, and uh, we will be, it will be a pleasure for the Sirius team to answer. Okay. I am still using Axelio 2, no, and thinking to move to 3. No, wait. <laughs> please yeah, wait for Axelio 4. <laughs> That's a better solution for you. <laughs> Probably a better choice. And, and I think uh, we missed one. I would like okay. to integrate JavaScript application with Sirius and with Axel. I already answered this oh. one. Okay, yeah. so my bad. Too late. Sorry to get back to EMF compare once more. Is there somewhere a screencast how to compare to ARD files? I think that no. Uh, we propose. Um, we propose um, a talk for EclipseCon about that, about EMF Compare and uh, comparing many kinds of things with EMF Compare. I expect that this talk will be selected at EclipseCon Europe. <laughs> Eclipse Hour Live, not Europe anymore. Yeah. And um, yes, uh, I I'm not sure. Um, if it's selected, you will have a, 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 a video, else not yet. <laughs> Is it possible to push XTech Series integrated project? to the web, uh, not yet, because uh, it does not uh, really exist. It's uh, just a prototype from uh, our side, so it's not ready to be pushed to be viewable by anyone, <laughs> by everyone. <laughs> um, okay. Can I use m 2 doc in the web? Uh, no, yet, same. 
um, but it would be possible to integrate n to doc with uh, with Sirius uh, Web uh, at a point when uh, when we will finish uh, to push uh, the Sirius Web code, and uh, you, we will have still to to implement some few things to integrate uh, with uh, Axelio and Sirius. But yes, it's it would be possible. No 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 problem on that. Just some effort to to make this possible. Okay. Do you still have some questions? There is some more in Menti. Have all a no. nice holiday. <laughs> Great, thanks. <laughs> and thanks, Captain. It was a nice flight. Yeah, thanks. I think we welcome. <laughs> thanks to the old passengers. <laughs> it okay, was great. Maybe. Have you some? Have you some last? Have you some last slides? No, um, I have no slides. Um, it was a no slide session. That was the purpose. So okay. yes, but. Um, there is some new question. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, how can one get a graphical diff for metamodel with EMF compare? Is it sufficient to create a search configuration? Um, I need to re read that. How can one get a graphical diff for metamodel with EMF compare? Um, EMF compare is there to, 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 to get some comparison of your model. A meta model is a model, so yes. Is it sufficient to create a series configuration? It's not the same thing. <laughs> uh, EMF compare and series are two different things, so I'm not sure what you are meaning with that. Does series web support the sequence diagram? No, not yet, but maybe with your help. Uh, series web today supports only one kind of representation, which is the one you saw during the demonstration. Um, and then it's just thanks. So yes, thanks yeah. all. Okay, thanks. Thanks for thanks everyone for for sharing and for, for having this great moment. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this conference. Um, for for my side, it was a real pleasure to uh, discover so much about uh, uh, Cyrus and its usage, and have so so much exchanges and, and for sharing on the on the chat and having some feedback from you. So thanks for for all of that, and I will be happy to to see you for the next edition. Thank you again, and have a, have a good day. Bye. Bye-bye.